Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 ways to attract girls. Before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. We seek prosperity, respect, and sex as men. Those are usually synonymous with love for us. It's not that simple for women. This video demonstrates the 10 things that women desire from you. If you follow this advice, you'll become more desirable to ladies right away. Number 10. Smell good. Studies have shown that body odor is strongly connected with attraction in heterosexual females. The women in one study ranked body odor as more important for attraction than looks. Humans may not simply depend on visual and verbal senses to be attracted to a possible partner mate. From spicy scents to florals, ladies love a good-smelling guy. There is no denying the power or the desirability of a good-smelling man. The right scent can make even the most ordinary of guys seem attractive to women. Number 9. Women want you to listen. Communication is simply the interchange of ideas, wants, and wishes, without being too technical. The notion itself is simple and straightforward, but putting it into practice is anything but. Women talk more than guys, it's no secret. Gender jabber is a notion that emphasizes the disparities in the number of words said by men and women. Women say an average of 20,000 words per day, whereas men speak roughly 7,000 words per day, according to Luann Brizendine, MD, professor at the University of California, San Francisco. As a result, women talk nearly three times as much as males. Guys, I'm sure you've learned this via experience. There's a lesson here, and it's a two-fold one. We need to pay more attention to what others are saying than we do to what we are saying. It will become competitive if we try to talk over the ladies. They are pre-programmed to express themselves verbally and convey their opinions. If we talk as much as they do, there's a danger we're not paying attention to everything. It's important that you mention something useful. Make sure what you're saying is worthwhile. You don't have to be a philosopher, but you do need to be careful with your words because you'll be speaking less. Number 8. Women want you to think about them. When you exhibit this trait, you're demonstrating that what she values is equally as important, if not more so, than what you require. This quality will be reciprocated by your wife. It's something she was born with. Thoughtfulness is the relative of selflessness, and it allows you to navigate the emotional spectrum. Unfortunately, many men are unconcerned about it. How am I supposed to be a thinking man? Selflessness be willing to give up something. Attendants pay attention to her requirements. Compassion show compassion to your wife or girlfriend. Honesty and integrity demonstrate that telling the truth and having a good character are not optional. Number 7. Dress to impress. When you dress well, it communicates that you value yourself highly. It also shows that you know how to take care of yourself. And if you know how to read women, you know that this is something that's important to them. How can she expect you to take care of her if you can't even take care of your shoes? That might sound like a silly question, but a lot of women think this way. It doesn't take much to buy clothes that fit you well, iron and clean them, and to keep yourself well-groomed. Yet, doing so will go a long way to making a great first impression on the fairer sex. Number 6. Women love a guy who's family-oriented. Although not all women want to marry and start a family, the vast majority of them want. Being a man who wants a family, or who has children, and is present with them boosts your appeal by a factor of 10. Children are no longer as much of a deal-breaker as they once were. If you have children, your chances aren't necessarily bleak. Being a great parent and provider for your children demonstrates to her, you desire children. If you have children together, you will be present regardless of the relationship's end. You're not a jerk who would abandon his children being a family-oriented man also means that she will see you prioritizing her as your wife during chats and dating. Allowing her to observe how you and your family interact is another approach to demonstrate that you are a family man. Even if you don't have a close relationship with your family, tell her you want to rewrite the story. Tell her you want to be close to your kids and don't want to go back into the same pattern as before. Number 5. Women appreciate a man who is vulnerable. For most men, this is a challenging task. We want to think of ourselves as manly. Macho, but the truth is that we have sentiments just like women. They must see and feel that you are comfortable with them being candid. Allowing her to see you at your most vulnerable will build trust. It demonstrates that you entrust her with your deepest and darkest secrets. 
Do not do this while you are just getting to know someone. That can often be too much. Too soon. When the time is right, you'll know. Remember that being vulnerable allows you to be fearless. Number 4. Women are drawn to men who are well-informed and educated. Keeping up with what's going on in the world and being able to talk about it is a trait that demonstrates that you are a global citizen. You don't need to be a political analyst or a philanthropist to make a difference. You must, however, demonstrate that you are interested in learning about and understanding other cultures. This does imply that the discourse is shifted away from job or family from time to time to something else of equal importance. A gentleman who is aware of his surroundings demonstrates to his lady that he recognizes that he is a part of something larger than himself. It demonstrates that you understand that the world does not revolve around you or your experiences. This is an important aspect of compassion. Number 3. Women want you to make them laugh. Not the kind of vulgar, insensitive comedy, or even the kind that makes jokes about everything. But he has a terrific sense of humor that is always on point. A man who enjoys a good laugh and who can balance the gravity of important issues with the gift of lightheartedness through laughing is a rare discovery. Having a good sense of humor indicates to her that you will be able to grin even when things are difficult. It will also help to establish her trust in you as a confidant. Wit is an often overlooked aspect of comedy. Wit is described as the ability to recognize and convey the connections between ideas that elicit amusement and pleasure. Ladies appreciate a man who can think on his feet and engage in light banter. A witty person is full of life and energy, and he enjoys having a good time. She'll enjoy it as well. If you're not sure where to begin, learn how to strike up a light-hearted discussion with her. Number 2. Women enjoy spontaneity and adventure. Women admire a man who isn't afraid to take risks. Men have been labeled as creatures of habit who prefer a set schedule. If you can throw a monkey wrench in that perception, your beauty will soar to new heights. This sense of adventure can be seen in the following ways. Experimenting with different meals visiting new location taking up a new pastime The overall point is that no one wants to get stuck in a rut. So being adventurous or adopting a mindset that appreciates trying new things every now and again may work wonders for a man attempting to capture a lady's eye or maintain her interest. Number 1. Women expect you to fix problems. Don't just consider the words cheap or frugal. In fact, ladies despise the term cheap. Resourceful is a cross between a master networker and a MacGyver. The important thing is that you know how to get things done, not that you know how to do everything. Alternatively, you may know someone who knows someone who can help. It's critical that you're able to use your education network relationship skills. This is very useful during difficult times. This is also a good method to reassure your wife that you don't have a lot of pride. Ask for aid is a clever way of saying leverage relationships. Your relationship is in trouble if you are too proud to admit that you need help and your ego is too enormous to accept it. Demonstrate your resourcefulness right away. You will always have the opportunity to do so in life. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.